Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create awesome looking charts for your website. So this is the one that we're going to create for our website. And if you hover over any of these items, we can see the value of the item on the chart. And we have different colors over here and all. So we can do a lot of customizations in this chart. So let's get started. Now to make this easier, we'll be using a library called Chart.js. So just go to the website called chartjs.org and we can see that it is simple yet flexible JavaScript charting for designers and developers. So if you scroll down, you can see a lot of things written about this library. It has different types of charts. We can have mixed charts, which means uh, there can be two charts in one diagram and uh, we can have different chart axis types the other thing is that it can be animated and uh, it is open source it has eight types of charts and uh, it uses html5 canvas for drawing the chart and it is also responsive so these are all the awesome features that the chart js library has so let's get started by clicking on get started and uh, here is the documentation of the chart.js library and uh, here we can see about the installation and here is a basic example of how to create a chart but let's first of all go to this uh, option called installation inside get started and these are the different methods we can use to install this library we'll be using uh, this method called cdn so we will just go to this uh, website called cdnjs.com and uh, we'll be just uh, using this library over here so let's go to our vs code and uh, let's start with creating a new file so we'll just create a new html file and uh, we'll just name it index.html and we'll also create a css file and we'll name it style.css and in our index.html file we will just type exclamation and uh, tab to get this uh, basic html5 boilerplate code and then we'll also link our style.css file over here. All right, now we need to get the link of this library. So let's go to cdnjs.com and uh, we'll select this chart minjs uh, link from here. So just copy that. And uh, we'll go inside the body tag. And uh, here we'll create a script tag. And in the src attribute, we'll just paste this link. All right, now the first thing we need to do is create a canvas for drawing our chart. So first of all, we'll create a division with a class of chart container. And in that we'll have a heading with a class of chart heading. And here we'll just type the heading of our chart. All right, now let's create a canvas. So to create a canvas in HTML5, you just have to type canvas and press tab and it will create this tag for you now we'll give an id to this canvas so that uh, we can reference it later so we'll give it an id of uh, custom chart now that's all with the chart container division now the next thing we need to do is write the code to add the chart inside this canvas so let's create a new javascript file so we'll go to files and uh, click on new file and we'll just name it main.js and let's also link that in our uh, index.html file. So here we'll type script src and we'll just type main.js. All right, now let's go to our main.js file and we'll reference this uh, custom chart canvas from here. So here we'll just type let custom chart equals document dot get element by id. And the ID that we had given to the canvas is custom chart. Now for this canvas, we also need to get the context. So for that, we can just type dot get context. And in that, we'll just type 2D. Now the next thing we need to do is create a chart object. So let's create a chart object with the name of programming chart. So we'll type new chart now in parentheses you have to have two arguments one is this canvas and the next is an object with all the options we want so let's type custom chart 
and for the next one we'll create an object so first of all we will specify the type of our chart so it will be a bar chart so we'll type type bar and then we'll have an object for the data so we'll type data and in this object we'll have labels and data sets so let's type labels and the labels are these values over here php javascript and all this so let's just test with one value and if it works we'll just go ahead with our code so for the labels you need to create an array so we'll create an array and uh, the first one is php and uh, then we need to have the data sets so we'll type data sets and the data sets need to be an array and in the array we will have an object where uh, we will add the data so for the first one we have the value of 12 now our chart should be displayed over here right now but uh, it's not being displayed so let's right click over here and click on inspect and uh, let's see whether we have any errors so in console we can see that we have an error on line number one cannot read property get context so the custom chart is not being accessed so the problem is that we had this uh, dot over here dot represents a class but uh, we need to get the id so we just remove this dot from here All right now we can see that the chart is working and the value of 12 is being applied to php now the next thing is that we need to start with the value of 0 over here so for that we will go over here after the data and uh, here we will have an object named options and in that we will have scales and in that we'll have y-axis and this will be an array and in that we'll have an object and we'll just type ticks and in the ticks object we'll just type begin at zero and we'll set it to true we have a colon missing over here so let's add that and now we can see that it starts from zero all right since we know that this is working let's add all the other labels so the next one is javascript and uh, then we have java and uh, c++ and python and we'll also add the data over here so the next one is 15 then we have 11 10 and 13 so we can see that all the data is being shown correctly now here in the top we can see that it says undefined so we need to add a label for that so in datasets you can just type label over here and we can type whatever we want over here so we'll just type number of votes in thousands all right now we can see the label is being displayed over here all right our chart is working all right now let's also add some colors to these bars so after the data here we will just type background color and uh, this is an array and in this we can have different colors for each of these values so for the first one we'll just type rgba 0 176 255 and 0.6 so now you can see the color of the first bar has changed now in the same way i'll just add the colors for the other bars as well Alright, so I have added the colors for all the bars. Now we can also add borders for this. So here we'll just type border color. And it is also an array. So I'll just copy these colors from here. And I'll just change the opacity to 1. Now we need to set the border width for the border to be visible. So we'll type border width and we'll set it to 2 so now we can see the border for the bars all right so now let's go ahead and uh, style this page using css so let's go to style.css and we'll target the division called chart container and uh, we'll set the width to 600 pixels and set a padding of 10 pixels top and bottom and 48 pixels left and right and we'll also center it horizontally by typing margin 0 for top and bottom and auto for left and right and we'll set the font family to roboto 
and uh, we'll also add a box shadow of 0, 4 pixels, 8 pixels, RGBA 0, 0, 0 and uh, 0 0.5 I will just set to 0 0.4 and uh, then we will also set a border radius of 10 pixels. Alright, so now let's target the heading. So we will type chart container h2.chart heading and we will set the text align to center and also text transform to uppercase and we will set a padding bottom of 10 pixels. Alright, that's basically it with our chart. Now we can change the chart type over here in main.js by just changing the type over here. So now if we change this to line, we can see we have a line chart over here. And there are different options you can try. So we can have pie chart. So this is a pie chart. We can have a donut. And uh, then we can also have polar area. So a lot of different options are available in chart.js. You can just go to their website and uh, check out all the different uh, types. And there are also a lot of other options which you can use to customize this chart even further. So that's basically it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. And uh, if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.